Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly reading. I hope everyone's doing well. We're going to take a look at the energy of August 9th through August 15th, 2021. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cancer. If this one doesn't hit home for you, always check out your Moon or your Rising sign as well. All right, cards have been nice and pre-shuffled. We're almost set, ready to go. So this is a general reading, not necessarily love, not necessarily career. It's just whatever comes out. This is the energy most prominent around the zodiac sign of Cancer, the 9th through the 15th. I do have your August love readings uploaded uh, for all the signs, and I will link yours in the description box. All right, Cancer, let's see what the week looks like for Cancer, the 9th through the 15th, 2021. All right, you guys, I'm going to use the Tarot of Mystical Moments for your spread. And that link will also be below if you guys like it and want to check it out. All right, let's do it. Coming into the current moment, what do we have? Well, it's you. It's the chariot. And it's in reverse, Cancer. Major arcana for Cancer. There's your energy. What's the challenge or what's influencing that chariot in reverse? The four of pentacles in reverse. What's on your mind, Cancer? It's the Hanged Man, Major for Pisces. If you're new to tarot, when I mentioned the Major Arcana, there are 22 in the deck, and it's just big shifts in energy. You don't have a whole lot of free will with those majors, um, and each zodiac has a Major Arcana. What happened here in the recent past? The Seven of Cups. What's the situation, or why is everything happening? Why is the reading happening? The Ace of Wands. All right, some sort of new beginning. You've got fire energy there, a spark, an attraction, excitement towards something new. All right, coming into the near future, Cancer, what will you experience? The Knight of Pentacles. A little Virgo action. How do you see yourself right now? What are you up to, Cancer? The Emperor, major for Aries. What's in your environment coming in that you don't see? The Five of Wands. What's in your emotions? What's going on in your feels? The devil. Capricorn energy. And what's your outcome, Cancer? Ninth through the 15th, the sun. Leo energy. Look at all these major arcana. I've been getting that a lot for um, the readings this week. A lot of just big shifts in energy. A lot going on. Big changes, basically. All right. Well, let's clarify this bad bitch of a reading. See what's going on. Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. I wanted to take a little peek. So a big turn of events. Major Arcana again. So the Wheel of Fortune can mean, obviously, you know, things are starting to turn in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune can literally mean better money as well. Something that's part of your destiny. Something that's something that's supposed to happen. And it's a good change. Again, everything's happening because of this Ace of Wands, Cancer. So, all right, y'all take a nice little look at your cards. It's a beautiful deck. This is a good opportunity to see your cards. Um, make sure also, if you don't mind, like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments. If you're not receiving notifications, unsubscribe to my channel. Uh, subscribe again. And hit the notification bell to all notifications. And then you'll be uploaded. If you don't hit all notifications, sometimes you'll get a notification, sometimes you won't. So just go ahead and do that if you feel like you aren't receiving them. If y'all need a private reading, uh, my info is below in the description box. You can check out my new shop on there as well. You guys don't have to buy anything. No pressure. But take a look. I did um, put together a cleansing box. Got some bath salts. They're all made by me, mom, homemade set with the most amazing intentions for you guys. I'm happy to do it. All right, let's check it out, Cancer. Okay, so again, everything's happening here because of the Ace of Wands. So some sort of new beginning, something that you're excited. Um, again, it, this isn't necessarily love. It's just however this fits into your life. You know, the Ace of Wands can be a new career, going towards something new. But, a but, Cancer, because of that coming to the current moment, that chariot is in reverse. So you feel like you're a little bit stuck. And it could be you're going to have to shell out some money or you've lost some money or it's created some sort of instability with finances or just, you know, in general, something on the tangible side. 
So you feel a little bit stuck with that hanged man. You're trying to kind of see something in a new perspective. Ooh, card just completely flipped out of my deck. What is it? We're taking it. Yeah, the four of wands in reverse. I'm going to go ahead and put it on that hanged man because that's what I was thinking and talking about. Yeah, see, a lack of stability. For some of you, you want to move. And there's a delay here with that because, um, you know, you've had to shell out money in another area. You don't have quite enough. You're trying to hold on to your money and it has to do with a new beginning. Those of you that this is love, you want something new. There's an attraction. You're ready to take flight. But again, you're kind of just, you're waiting. You're kind of at a stalemate energy. You don't feel the, the vavoom or there's a delay or you just feel stuck here. With the two fours in reverse, that is a lack of stability. So it could be that you've dealt with very non-committal people and you're just trying to kind of let go of that energy. All right, let's start clarifying. So coming into the current moment, we do have you guys. That's you, Major Arcana for Cancer, the Chariot in Reverse. Temperance wanted to fly out, so we're taking that. Major for Sagittarius. <clears throat> for some of you, something didn't move forward, maybe with a Sagittarius. You might be kind of cancer on the back, in the back of your mind waiting for someone to kind of commit, but they keep bringing you this instability. So you're having or you're trying to let go because you don't see it moving forward. But deep down, maybe you want to reconcile or you want to make it work with this person or just love in general. All right. Again, for those of you that this is outside the realms of love, this is you just really remaining patient. You know, it's all about divine timing and you're just trying to get everything together to move towards this new beginning. Uh, why is this hanged man here? What is this about? I'm sorry, the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands there? Yeah, we've got more Leo Sag Aries energy in this deck. I think a lot of Leo energy with that King of Wands. Ooh. For some of you, you've met a new fire sign or they have fire in your chart and there's a strong, strong attraction, but you're kind of just like, eh, I don't know if this is going to lead to a commitment. You're not so sure. Uh, tell me more about the King of Wands here. The Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, there's a lack of movement or change. Maybe you blocked communication with this person or they did you, but the Eight of Wands in reverse. Again, I'm getting a lot of stuck energy. If it's love for you, Cancer, there's certainly an attraction, but it's, it, it's kind of like, ah, hell, where the hell is this going? You know, it might just be an attraction type thing. Again, um, outside of love, this is, man, I want to go for something here. A new job, a new business, school, something like that that it, you're really excited about. But there's just more that has to be done because there's a lack of movement here. The ability to kind of move forward for now. In the past, you experienced a seven of cups. Why? And the sun. Again, the sun is showing. Uh, Leo energy. I, I'm getting a lot of Leo in this reading, Cancer. What's the seven of cups with the sun? What's this about? And the fool, sign of Aries. I feel, I feel like for love, Cancer, there was a particular person or just love in general where it was like confusing, a little bit overwhelming, not really sure what people wanted here. Could be that this person had other options. You, you begin to see it clearly, though. But I, again, with that sun energy, that's like a really strong attraction. It's wanting change. The fool and the moon can be you, typically Pisces. Again, somebody was very young at heart. I'm getting in love, Cancer. You're dealing with somebody that kind of had Peter Pan syndrome. Very closed off. You, you started to see that clearly here too, I think, but I think there's such a strong attraction, it's hard to kind of let go, even though there's delays and a lack of movement here. A lot of you just wanted to take a risk. You had some sort of enlightenment in your life and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. But God, you know, I'm, I'm a little emotional about it. Or I'm a little bit confused on how to get this new beginning. And I think for most of you, it would be because of money or something. Coming into the near future, You'll experience the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, something's moving at a snail's pace. Knight of Pentacles says that money is coming or that stability that you need for this new beginning and to take action. The Ten of Wands, you're, you're getting close. Like that Ten of Wands says there's a lot of pressure and, you know, there are a lot of burdens. It's a little overwhelming, but it's coming to an end. It's just taking forever. And the Seven of Wands. 
in this particular deck, I really feel the Seven of Wands is I'm fighting for what I want. It can be a little defensive or guarded energy, but again, this is somebody, you know, if you look at her in this deck, she's very zen. She's going for what she wants, taking action, walking her path. Sorry, y'all, had to move my dog. Y'all, she is just, she has such bad allergies. Like she will literally sit there and lick her feet for like 30 minutes. It's really annoying. And I'm sure it'd be really annoying for y'all to hear in the background. So even though there's burdens, and I think the burden here about some new path that you want to take action here on, and you're really fighting for what you want here, is just moving very, very slow. But the good thing about the Knight of Pentacles is he always reaches his goal, right? He's just slow to do it. Right now, you see yourself as the Emperor, Aries energy, and the Five of Cups. Maybe kind of sad or disappointed over what you don't have. Because you see yourself as really wanting to gain control and move towards something new here. But it's almost like the universe is blocking you. Um, for some of you, yeah, it is. Like you want to own your own business or you're trying to get some sort of promotion or just kind of run the show. The Emperor is about bossing up and really regaining control and stability in your life. But with the Five of Cups, it's like, ah, disappointment. Disappointment right? Or you're kind of thinking back to the past where things just haven't quite worked for you and the magician, but you're manifesting, you're manifesting. I think the five of cups is more disappointment because you really are using all the tools that you have cancer to go towards this new beginning. And if it is love, it is kind of, again, cancer just regaining control over your love life, maybe setting some boundaries with someone who think, you know, things seem a little bit stuck or they did in the past and you know that there's an attraction and a connection, but it's just maybe not going in the direction you want. So I think a lot of you are trying to manifest and if it is love, maybe you're trying to manifest and it's just, it's not going the way you want, right? But coming in from your environment that you don't see, you have a five of wands. What's this about? And the three of pentacles. So again, those of you that are, you know, trying to get somebody to bring you on board or something like that, it's a competitive situation. Whether this is school, a new hobby, a new business, a, whatever this is, I feel like whatever this new beginning, this excitement that you're trying to go towards, I feel like it's a competitive situation and you're having to really fight, you know, to show that you're qualified and that you're the best person for it. What's this three of pentacles? Yeah, and the three of swords. I think that's disappointment. Again, for love, I think that you guys, those of you that are already connecting with somebody, it's probably a competitive situation or maybe they're kind of seeing what else is out there. They're not giving you the, the commitment or the long term that you want and that you deserve. Um, and so you kind of just have that energy of like, man, is this person or is this kind of love situation in my life ever going to change? What's the three of swords here in the environment for cancer and the ace of swords? It's delays though, cancer, all over the place. And then the breakthrough comes. The ace of swords is that communication. You've got Aquarian energy there. But the ace of swords is finally victory. It's like the yes card, the victory after some disappointment. So again, for those of you that you're trying to go towards something new and you're kind of, you know, disappointed or you feel like something's not going to work or something like that, you definitely feel stuck, there comes a breakthrough. I don't think it's going to be in the, in the next week. I think this is a little bit after since I'm clarifying so much. But because it's a competitive situation, you're going to feel disappointed a little bit here. And then you get some sort of communication that brings that yes, that victory here. Uh, for love, I think a lot of you are going to take that Ace of Swords and with that clarity and that breakthrough you have, I think you just cut somebody off is what it looks like to me. Because um, in your emotions, you've got the devil. So the devil, Capricorn energy, the devil can often mean like negative thinking, but it's also just stuck, right? Like I feel stuck. I feel stuck. How do I get out? How do I start having positive thoughts and move forward? What's this uh, devil energy about for Cancer and the Ace of Wands? You're obsessively thinking, probably, that doesn't always mean a bad thing, about really going towards something that you just want so much, like you can feel it. You can feel it in the pit of your stomach, Cancer. It's like a strong attraction. It's like butterflies. 
whether it's love or just something, you know, some sort of new beginning that you really, really want to start. I think that a lot of you are just really, you're stuck to this. Like you're not going to give up on it. What's this Ace of Wands about? And the Four of Swords, Libra energy. Thinking on it, I think a lot of you, if you aren't already, you're going to really be using the laws of attraction, a lot of meditation to get this new beginning, whether it's a person or it's outside of love. You guys have the skill to manifest. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. You just want your happily ever after. This is very much energy, too, of, for me, um, in love, in your emotions, cancer, just, God, so badly wanting something. And then it's like you get tired and you just, like, pull away and you're, like, withdrawn. And then just kind of daydreaming about happily ever after with the Ten of Cups. I do feel like there's somebody in love or there was in the recent past that you really wanted that with. And they just kept you stagnant. Right? The outcome, though, you do have the sun, which is beautiful. You got Leo energy. Some of you are Cancerian Leo cuspers with all this Leo. What's the sun here in the outcome? The ninth through the 15th for Cancer. What is this? Woo, the nine of cups. Beautiful. And see, remember when I said, oh, when a flower falls, it's good luck in your reading. Remember when I said earlier, uh, I felt like it was coming. There's just delays. Yeah, because look at your outcome. Now, your outcome is typically a result of this. The Knight of Pentacles is coming. There's that stability. There's the value. It's just kind of at a standstill, and it takes a while, which leaves you worried and burdened and all this because there's something you really, really want. Well, your outcome says it, it happens. The sun is here. There's some sort of enlightenment and happiness. The sun with the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. It's manifesting your hopes, your dreams, you're able to really become, you know, more emotionally satisfied. So whatever this is for you, whatever this Ace of Wands is for Cancer, if it's love, it's probably a newer connection. I don't think it's the person you were dealing with in the past. I have a lot of Leo here. Um, but ultimate satisfaction and happiness. You've got really two of the most positive cards in the deck for your outcome. You're just going to have to grin and bear it and deal with these delays that are going on. Again, I think for a lot of you, it's financial. And I think that you're trying to go for something where it's competitive. There's a lot of players. You know what I mean? And for love, I just think that you really fell for someone or it was a very, very strong attraction, but they just wouldn't give you that commitment. And you're starting to set boundaries because you're tired of the disappointment. Please, please make sure that you're using the laws of attraction. You've got the magician here. Um, and I think a lot of you know that because that's how you see yourself. The king of wands, I was clarifying. I've got that three of wands here in the foundation. You might be waiting on this person still, Cancer. But I just, I feel like that outcome is someone else in love. How does this king of wands, and it doesn't have to be a fire sign. How does this king of wands feel about Cancer? See the five of wands, conflicted. Somebody here, it, and again, doesn't have to be a fire sign, but somebody's conflicted about giving you that stability. That's why that four of wands is in reverse. They may be dating other people or seeing what else is out there. Don't wait for this king of wands type energy. There's somebody better coming. What's the sun here in the outcome as far as love goes for cancer? What's the sun? Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. The sun and the star. Are you kidding me? It's gorgeous. Aquarian energy, two major arcana. So it's like, again, you don't even see it coming. This is your wish. You have two cards of wish, wishes, hope, wish fulfillment, happiness. It's a beautiful reading. It's just you're going to have to be patient. There's some delays and it's moving slowly. No matter how this reading fits into your life, you're manifesting and it's because you see yourself as the magician. All right, Cancer, that's what I have for you. I love you hard. Love me hard back and we'll speak soon. Take care.